Okay, in the first couple of tutorials we covered signing up for a Gmail account. In the second tutorial we briefly took a tour of the Gmail setup. And in this tutorial we're going to compose or send an email to a specified email address and hopefully get a reply. Over in the top left hand corner you will see this grey button, Compose Mail. This is where we start. We click on Compose Mail to open the Compose Mail window. Now, I have been asked many a times, how do I send an email to such and such a person? And I say, do you have their email address? And they say, no, can I not just send an email? It's surprising how many people aren't aware that you actually need an email address to send an email address, sorry, an email to. In this case, we're going to use Gmail tuts at new to the net.com and you can see it's already there and the subject now the subject is very important if you forget to put a subject in there is the slight chance that it will be sent to your recipient but it will be sent to their spam folder now spam is something that's usually quite annoying and it's kind of mail either people trying to sell you stuff or I don't know it's just not it's annoying annoying email that's the best way to describe spam annoying email so if you put a subject in the chances are that it won't be sent as spam where our subject will be our first email and we'll give it an exclamation mark for decoration this here is the main body section and we will go hi right, testy Another decoration. How are you? H O W A or E Y O U. That's not a U. That's a U. Okay. I don't know where that came from. Let me get rid of it. And we'll sign it. Testy. Testy likes to send emails to himself. In the corner here, you will see this draft lit up. It says drafts one. That is this draft here. When we send that email, that will no longer say drafts, obviously, and we'll be able to check in the sent mail section. Up here, we have send, save, discard. Now, if we don't want to send it at all, we can discard it. If we want to save for now, we can click save for now, or if we can send, we just click the send. Up here, it will say your message has been sent. And hopefully we will get a reply from Gmail Tuts at newtonnet.com saying success. But in the meantime, you'll see that drafts is no longer displaying a one. And if we go into sent to Gmail Tuts, our first email. Hello Testy, how are thing? That's from a previous, an earlier email. Go back into inbox. And hopefully by the time we have finished this video, a little response would have appeared saying, thank you, you're great. <laughs> if you want to delete an email, you can simply click the little box beside the selected mail and click on delete. If you find that email that has been sent to you is of a spam nature, you can do the same, click it, and then report as spam. And then the next time someone sends from that address, it will automatically go in to the spam folder, which is here. Let's click on inbox to refresh here again. No sign of an autoresponder yet, but we'll check in the next tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will go through some various things you can do with an email that you received and where you can put or select or create even some labels or folders. Okay.